Okay, this video will be a continuation video of a video that I made earlier called Bluetooth RC Controller Interface where I use this app on my smartphone to control a little RC robot car using Bluetooth by sending commands from this app to an HC06 Bluetooth module which is controlling my little RC uh, robot car. In that video I described how we send the forward command, the reverse, left and right and how to decode it. And we have headlight on, headlight off, tail light on, tail light off, horn on and off. But in this video we're going to focus on the speed of the little robot car. Now we control the speed of the robot car by PWM using this little slider you can see on here. So I could go from 0 PWM all the way to 100% and I could slide it along. So it's sending commands from the slider to the HC06 Bluetooth module to control the PWM signal to the motor of the little RC car and we're going to have a look and how we could do that in this video. Okay, here's my setup. So I have a SCAMP2 board mounted on my breadboard. Now you could use a SCAMP3 board, but in my original video I used a SCAMP2, so that's what I'm doing here. This is an HC06 Bluetooth module mounted on my board. Then I have an H-bridge, which uses the LMD18200, which is a 3 amp, 55 volt H-bridge, which has a direction input for forward and reverse, has a brake input, it has a PWM input to control the speed of the motor, pulse width modulation. So this H-bridge is connected up to my motor. It's a little gear motor and I have a 5 inch wheel. So it has a little set of gears you can see on the bottom there. I just have it set in this cup. So that's my setup. So now I can send signals from my app into the HC06 Bluetooth module. And that's going to send signals to my H-bridge which will control the speed of my, of my motor. Okay, on the app, if we go into settings, we could have a look at what kind of signals are being sent to control the speed of the motor. So if we go down to the speed section, you can see it has a speed from 0 to 100. So speed 0, it would send an ASCII 0. Speed 10 would send an ASCII 1. And then it goes 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Speed 100, it would send a lowercase q. So in our code, we have to decode the ASCII 0 to Q for a 0 to 100 percent PWM and that will, that will adjust the speed of the motor on our little robot car. Okay I have code running on my SCAMP2 board to receive signals from my app so if I do a forward you can see the motor is going forward reverse. Now my slider I got about half ways if I bring it all the way up it's faster and I can bring it down by tapping or sliding all the way down to zero and all the way up maximum it's 100% PWM so now we have total control over the speed of our little robot by controlling the PWM signal to the motor okay here's the schematic diagram of the circuit that I built on my breadboard and you can see the three main components, the Bluetooth module, HC06, the SCAMP2 board, and our H-bridge, which is controlling the speed of the motor. Now we're powering the Bluetooth module through the SCAMP2 board, through V in and ground, we're getting 5 volts to power the Bluetooth module. The TX output is fed into pins 12 of the SCAMP2 board, that's our UART input. Then we have three GPIO outputs, 2, 3, and 5 from the SCAMP2 board, which is feeding the H-bridge. Pin 2 is the PWM, which is controlling the speed of the motor. Pin 5 is a brake, and pin 3 is a direction, which is either forward or reverse. Now we have two terminals. We have a terminal for the motor, and we have a terminal for the power for the motor, which is 12 volts in my case. So we send signals from our app, and it's being received by the HC06 module, fed into the UART of the SCAMP2 board, which puts out a PWM signal into the H-bridge, which controls the speed of the motor. Okay, here's the code that's running on the SCAMP2 board and it's written in Flashforth. So the following code we're going to focus on how we control the speed of the motor through the app on our smartphone. So the first thing we do we set up the UART. So we have a word called UART.init that sets up the UART for 9600 baud and pin 12 will be the input pin on the SCAMP2 board. So the, so the baud rate is going to match the baud rate of our Bluetooth module. Next we're going to set up two pins of the GPIO. So a word called GPIO init. So pin 3 would be an output, and that's our direction. And pin 5 will be an output, and that's our brake. So next are our forward and reverse, our forward and back commands. So forward, we're going to release the brake and set the H-bridge to forward. 
And for the backwards or reverse, we're going to release the brake and set the H bridge for uh, backwards or, or reverse. Next is our stop, and that's going to put the brakes on the brake, uh, the motor on our, our little robot car. So next we're going to set up the PWM. So we're going to set up the frequency to 2500 hertz. So that's what this does on channel 6. And we're going to set the duty cycle to zero. So when it first starts up, the motor is not running. And pin 2 will be the output of our PWM on our SCAMP2 board using channel 6. And that's, a, that's our PWM output. So next I made a word called percent %PWM. So we give it a number between 0 and 100, in this example 80, and then percent %PWM, and we'll get an 80% PWM signal. So we'll use that word in our next uh, word called RC, radio control. So this is a, a, a big case statement, which is going to control everything. So the first thing we do, we initialize, uh, initialize our UART. So that's going to be 9600 pin 12, GPIO init, that's pins 3 and 5 as outputs. Kill, we're going to shut everything off before we start. PWM uh, setup, so that's pin 2 output, channel 6 at 2500 hertz. And then we start our, our case statement. This is our case statement, so it's looking for a character from the Bluetooth module into the UART. And when it sees it, it's going to compare it in this uh, case statement. So if it sees uh, ASCII 0, which would be decimal 48, it's going to do a 0% PWM. If it sees an ASCII 1, it's going to do uh, 10 percent PWM and ASCII 2 20 percent and it's going to go all the way down to ASCII Q it's going to do 100 percent so that's how we control the speed of the motor just by decoding from 0 to Q at 0 percent to 100 percent and that will give the speed of our motor for a little robot car okay so that was my little tutorial on how to control the speed of the motor using an H bridge using PWM pulse width modulation be controlled by the app on your smartphone now when you're building your robot, you'll, you'll need two H-bridges with two motors because this H-bridge can only control one motor, so you'll need two H-bridges. Then you could experiment with different ways of steering. You could use skid steering. You could brake one wheel and power the other wheel. You could have one wheel going in one direction, other wheel going in the other direction. And since it's written in fourth, it's interactive, so you could control each motor independently and you could play around with uh, different ways of steering your robot.